Hey everyone, it's Trumia, and it is actually Tuesday morning, so there's a lot to fill you in on. Um, Angel Flight wasn't able to find us a pilot, so we had to fly commercial, and we did that Sunday, and we flew Continental, which I'm finding that they have the most comfortable seats, especially, you know, being you know, disabled and not in good condition. Um, and if anybody saw my Facebook, you saw what we went through on that plane trip with the young gentleman that was sitting, he was sitting behind us and he was just really proud of himself. <laughs> um, and uh, what I didn't tell you is that he finally told the lady, I mean, the whole time they were talking about how much money he had. And he's trying to find out ways to um, to uh, get tax deduct tax deductions by the end of the year, and he was boasting about how much money he made. And she asked where he worked, and at first he said he couldn't tell her, but it was a major programming company. And then finally, somewhere in there, he couldn't hold it any longer, and he worked for Google. And he just kept on talking and talking. And everybody in front of us was turning around, giving him look, looking at us like, how are you guys surviving it? And we had in our earphones, and we could be listening to music and still could hear him. And then finally, towards the end of the trip, I turned around and I said, if you really need to make a tax donation, I said, you can make it to my transplant fund and help me survive so I can take care of my family. And he goes, oh, I don't think I'm ready for that kind of conversation on this flight. And I said, well, I had to listen to your whole conversation on this flight. And I just thought I would mention it. <laughs> and he shut up for about two minutes, and then he started in again. So I didn't last long. Um, yesterday, we went into the hematologist, oncologist office for the bone marrow biopsy. And you know, about two three weeks ago I called and I spoke with the nurse and about the procedure you know she explained it to me she said that I, if I requested IV sedation I could get it um, or they could call me in pills and I said I'd do the IV sedation and they also Dwayne could be in there well we showed up yesterday and the doctor is wonderful and um and I said, uh, you know, I, I definitely want the IV sedation. He goes, we can't do IV sedation here in, you know, the office. I said, we explained the situation to him. And he didn't try to coerce me or force me to get the um, bone marrow biopsy. He goes, let me see what I can do. And he come back and he goes, well, I need a... I'll put you in the hospital tonight for a 23-hour observation, and we'll do it first thing in the morning. And he goes, I'll have you comfortable. You know, you won't know what's going on. And I'm just sitting there in disbelief because I'm used to him forcing you to do something, not for them not going out of their way. And um, so last night, checked into the hospital, I never get it. When I come to Chicago, I never get out of having to go to the hospital. So we're here. Um, it's almost 7. Uh, they're going to do it between 7.30 and 8. I already have my IV. Uh, that was my nurse's button thing. Oops. Um, but so, so far, so good. They've been good with my medicine. They've gotten it to me on time every single time. And so far, the stay has been just wonderful because my room has been really hot and it has my face irritated. And so they called engineering to get because we had it turned down as low as it would go and it was still staying hot. But I think it's finally cooling off. So. I'm going to say I'll see you here in a few minutes, <laughs> probably be an hour or two, but 
get ready for my procedure, get ready for the biopsy. Wish me luck, prayers. Hey everyone, I'm back. And of course, as you know, nothing ever works out as expected. Um, they sedated me with Ativan and Dilaudid, and I was still pretty much awake. Um, could feel things, you know, a little bit of pain. Definitely would not want to do it without the medication. Um, we did that, and then um, he's really nice, really, really, really good doctor. And um, got to see what my bone marrow looks like and what my bone looks like. And then I got a call from Dr. Burt's office and from um, all the blood that he had taken on Monday. My skin's really dry. Um, they found a, a cell in my blood that shouldn't have been there. And it's called an NK cell, which stands for natural killer cell. NK sounds a lot better. But um, it's a cell, I've never even heard of it. And there's, you know, I've Googled it and I couldn't find anything that fit my situation at all. Um, it's a cell that's activated like when there's a tumor or cancer or a virus and it goes out and it attacks those cells and kills them. So it's the natural cell in your body that kills off those cells. Well, the virus activated my NK cells, but they didn't deactivate or go away once the virus had left. And so I have those cells are what are attacking my white blood cells, which are keeping them low and keeping me neutropenic. So right now, here I am. And the treatment for it is high dose steroids. Yay team. <laughs> I, I can never, I'm never, <laughs> don't want to be here going through this, but I'll do what I have to do. And Dr. Burt said that transplants go a lot easier. Mine's the rare to get in all the trouble that I've been in. And um, so everything else came back. I'm glad I'm here because that's just not a blood test that you do normally. And um, that they found those. We had to, of course, extend our stay. And also, you know, our angel flight fell through, so we're flying commercial. So. You know, more cost involved, hotel, food, travel, but we want to make sure we get everything taken care of so we can go home and be at peace and heal. Um, got lipstick on. It's Lancome, my first Lancome. And um, my hair... Josiah is supposed to come cut it for me Sunday, and I'll be home by then. We fly out of here on Saturday. And uh, this is, this will get, he said that once they do this, my set white blood count will bounce right back up. Monday, home health care at home will come and take my CBC and the metabolic panel and all that. And um, we'll know right then. My cells should be back to normal by then, and that'll be a good thing. Bad thing, the swelling up. Well, that's everything in a nutshell. I know I'm grinding out of time, and I wanted you guys to know how we're doing. There's Dwayne. So, be wishing me prayers. Be praying for my skin, because it's looking, you can tell where the scars are. And pray for those eyebrows. See you guys in the next video.